Jess, Paul, we're talking. It was missing six months. It is back now where it belongs with its owner. The owner right here, his name is Luke. He's an IT guy for a local university. Take a look down here. The drone right there, green light means that the GPS system is working. He's going to demonstrate it for us right now. So how did it get away? Luke says it was a combination of wind, height, and the GPS malfunction. Um, the only thing that kind of shows was outside was the little dirt marks here on a couple of the propellers. But other than that, and a little bit of rust on um, some of the screws here. Um, but other than that, it looks like it did when it flew away. So. Missing for six months, this drone or quadrocopter, as Luke Hartman calls it, is back in proper hands after someone saw a report on KOCO 5 News. This drone ended up on the roof of a home my, here. My boss came to me because I told him the story, and he said, Did you get your drone back? I said, no, and he said there's one found near Second Coal Train. The Edmund family lost the quadrocopter back in October. Luke and his eight year old son Isaac were flying it. His GPS system wasn't functioning right, and when it got too high, the wind took it, eventually landing on a woman's roof where it sat unnoticed until this week. Thursday, the quadrocopter took its first flight to the amazement of Hartman's four kids. As for it flying off again, Hartman says he's got everything under control. I will be watching it at all times. We'll be going to open fields. Uh, yes, so uh, maybe a little different rules. And because the drone spent time with the Edmond Police Department in the property room with this little tag on it, the family having a good time with it. They actually say they're going to name that drone Freebird. We're live in Edmond, Dave Detling, KOCO 5 News. Well, glad they